Hey there, this is Ranjit and welcome to my YouTube channel that's Kiki Ranjit and I have this OnePlus One and in this video we'll be doing some gaming review with this OnePlus One and we'll play some heavy games and we'll also test the ambient temperatures that we are getting on the device. I have a infrared heat gun so we'll measure the temperature and see if it heats up after extensive gaming and I'll start with heavy games. We'll start with Nova 3 first and then move on to other games. I've already done the unboxing of this OnePlus One, uh, so you can check out that for more info regarding this device. Uh, so let's do some gaming with this Nova 3 now. So this is Nova 3, so let's play that. And as you can see, it is actually pretty fluid. And this OnePlus One sports a 5-inch IPS great screen. And some of you have asked me about the screen quality. The screen quality is actually very nice. It's IPS great screen. So as you can see, it plays this uh, Nova 3 game pretty well. One thing about OnePlus One is the speakers are on only this side. So if you hold it very tightly, you can block it. So you've got to be aware of that. But apart from that, as you can see, it is very fluid even while playing heavy games. So let's uh, move out of Nova 3 and move to some other games now. And now let's move to Asphalt 8. So this is Asphalt 8. Uh, let me actually first show you the graphics settings if we go to sound and display. As you can see, I've kept it to high. Let me just lower the music. And uh, everything is on high and I'm using the on-screen steering control. So let's uh, play a few levels on this Asphalt 8 now. And uh, let's try this Iceland level first and then we'll quickly move to another level also. And as I mentioned, I'm using the on-screen steering. And uh, the speakers on this device are actually uh, pretty loud in terms of the volume, uh, but they don't have a lot of bass, I would say. It's a little bit tinny. And if you notice, it's playing this asphalt very well. I'm doing the drift right now. And I've been testing this OnePlus One for about uh, almost 10 days now. And one incredible thing about this device is the battery life I'm getting. It's got some amazing battery life, I have to say. So if you noticed, uh, it's playing this game actually pretty well.
so as you can see it's playing this asphalt very well we'll also try one more level and it's almost about nine minutes since we are gaming uh, we'll test the temperatures also but i do not feel uh, any heating but let's anyways check, check the temperatures on the back as you can see it's around 40 degrees celsius near the uh, underneath the camera that's where the highest temperature is if you go down it's not that hot only here it's around 40 degrees celsius uh, let's look at uh, the screen here also it's about 39 degrees uh, celsius as you can see near the earpiece it's a little bit high about 39.5 so yes it's a little bit warm but not very hot as of now and let's continue so we'll also play uh, this tokyo level for a couple of minutes And as you can see still it's playing it actually very well. So as you can see it is playing this one also actually very well. And it's just about uh, 13 minutes since we are continuously gaming uh, so let's uh, check the temperature and then we'll move to another game now uh, let's see this at the back and this is increased to about 41 degrees celsius now as you can see and let me just go over here and this is around the 40 degrees celsius mark as you can see it did touch about 40 degrees celsius so yes it's getting a little bit warm but not very hot or uncomfortable to play uh, let me just get out of this one also now let me swipe away this game and uh, let's now move to another heavy game that is modern combat 5 so this is modern combat 5 a very graphic heavy uh, game uh, let's play this now camera portion uh, back I feel a little bit of heat now because it's almost more than like uh, yeah it's 15 minutes since we are gaming but we'll test the temperatures a bit later So far so good, did not notice any lagginess, but let's see now. Still amazed with the quality of graphics we are getting on these mobile uh, games.
so that was Modern Combat 5 and it played this one also actually pretty well in my opinion uh, let's uh, look at the temperature it's been slightly over 18 minutes and now as you can see it did touch about 43 degrees celsius yes this portion is getting a little bit uh hot now anything above 42 degrees celsius uh, you start uh, feeling the heat and here on the screen it's almost about 41 it did touch here as you can see down if you go it's a little bit less around 36 37 uh, but let's just get out of this game also now let me just get out and uh, i also tried uh, actually this game uh, that is real racing 3 but i've noticed that this real racing 3 is giving some issues with the latest build with qualcomm chipsets that have adreno uh, gpu for example even on the note 4 uh, which has an adreno 420 gpu it was giving some lagging issues i'll show you it's also happening on this one this has adreno 330 gpu i also tested it with the lg g3 so it looks like there's an issue with the latest build of this uh, game uh, because earlier uh, it never used to lag a little bit on the snapdragon 801 chipsets so let's quickly i'll just show you that so this is real racing 3 the volume at max and i'm going to change the what do you say angle and as you can see we can see the rear view mirror that means everything is getting rendered as expected as you can see little bit of drop frames let's keep this uh, angle did notice some drop frames in this uh, particular game as you can see see the scenery back it's a little bit choppy Again, I noticed this even on the Note 4, uh, the Snapdragon variant, and even on the LG G3. Common thing was, all of them have the Adreno GPU. So, looks like some issue uh, the developers need to fix with the Adreno GPUs. As you can see again, it is very much playable, but the uh, frame rate is choppy sometimes. If I change the, as you can see. Again, as you can see, the shopping is a little bit that happens. So let me just get out of this one also now. And it's been just 21 minutes since we are gaming. So let's finally look at the temperature again. It touched max of 41.9. Uh, that's almost 42 degrees celsius as you can see and here on the screen or the top around 39 degrees celsius uh, so what do i feel about the gaming with this one plus one uh, i would say it can do excellent gaming as we have seen with the heavy games like nova 3 asphalt and modern combat 5 they ran very well yes uh, the what do you say uh, real racing 3 exhibited a little bit of choppiness but i think so that's the issue with the latest build of this game because it's exhibiting the similar issues with other high-end android devices also in terms of heating also uh, you should be okay yes it does get a little bit warm with continuous extended gaming but it's not getting extremely hot like you cannot play the games like some other devices do they extend to about 46 or 47 degrees celsius which becomes actually painful for gaming this uh, went to around uh, almost 43 degrees celsius which is i would say yes borderline uh, hot but not very hot so again uh, even for gaming it's a great handset and the biggest thing with the one plus one is that specifically if you choose the sandstone variant you get 64 gigs of internal storage so you can install a lot of games without any issues i'll also be posting a lot more videos on this one plus one so stay tuned to my channel also don't forget to check out the youtube show notes as i've already posted quite a few videos on the one plus one thanks for watching this video this this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.